Hi everyone, welcome to another video for MRCS exam and this video is dedicated for MRCS examinee to make their preparation easy and pass the MRCS exam easily. So here the question, first of all read the question very carefully. A 22 years old woman has recently undergone a surgical excision of the submandibular glands. She presents to follow up clinic with a complaint of tongue weakness on the ipsilateral side of, to her surgery which nerve has been damaged. So, the patient, she undergone surgical excision of the submandibular gland. Submandibular gland is one of the salivary gland. And during the follow-up, she complains that ipsilateral, there is tongue weakness on the ipsilateral side of the surgery, which nerve has been damaged. Here are the options. The options are hypoglossal nerve, lingual nerve, inferior alveolar nerve, facial nerve, and laser petrocell nerve. So we have to find out one of the options which is compatible with the answer of this question. So here we can see this is the tongue here. This one is the tongue here, the teeth, and here we can see this is the sub mandibular gland, and during and here also the sublingual gland. Uh, so during the excision of the submandibular gland, the uh, nerve which uh, lies around the submandibular gland they are every sense of the injury so here we can see these two nerve one is the hypoglossal nerve and is the another here is the lingual nerve so hypoglossal nerve it is uh, very uh, common to injury in uh, case um, in the uh, the submandibular gland surgery and lingual nerve it also be injured during the surgery so here we can see the hypoglossal nerve which lies close to the glands so during gland excision hypoglossal may be damaged and lingual nerve it is very close to the this duct of the submandibular gland so the sub lingual nerve is usually damaged during the duct also excision during the duct excision so there is two nerve one is lingual another one is hypoglossal but there is another nerve which may be damaged during the parotid uh, during the submandibular gland surgery so during the submandibular gland surgery there is three nerve which may be damaged so this three nerve is a pneumonic cell here is the maliha m a this is for marginal mandibular branch of the facial nerve l i this is, this is the lingual nerve and s a this ace is hypoglossal nerve so three these three nerves may be damaged during the submandibular gland surgery here we can see this is the submandibular gland and within the submandibular gland the marginal branch this marginal branch it passes through this submandibular gland and other two lingual and hypoglossal nerve we can see in this picture here is the lingual nerve and here is the hypoglossal nerve and in this picture we can see the muscles of the tongue uh, that means the extrinsic muscle of the tongue which causes different movements such as protection retraction side to side movement so here we can see different type of the muscle such as uh, the, here is the palatoglossus, then this is the stylogolosus, this is the hyogolosus and geniogolosus. The four extrinsic muscle or four pair of the uh, extrinsic muscle, it is supplied by the hypoglossal nerve except the palatoglossus because the palatoglossus, uh, it receives nerve supply from the vagus nerve. This is the 10th cranial nerve. On the other hand, rest of the muscle is supplied by the hypoglossal nerve. This is the 12 number of the cranial nerve and some is uh, intrinsic muscle also which lies within the tongue substances this also supplied by the hypoglossal nerve so in case of tongue all of the muscles are supplied by the hypoglossal nerve this is the 12th cranial nerve but palatoglossus here which is supplied by the palate vagus nerve and this palatoglossus is arising from the palate and inserted into the tongue so here we can see the hypoglossal nerve which supplies the all almost all of the muscles of the tongue so uh, any weakness to the uh, tongue usually caused by the hypoglossal nerve damage nerve damage here so the hypoglossal nerve damage it causes the weakness of the ipsilateral side of the tongue during the submandibular gland excision, other options here we can see the lingual nerve, lingual, lingual nerve it provides the sensory supply to the tongue, anterior to side of the tongue, inferior alveolar nerve it lies within the lower 
jaw tooth sockets and facial nerve facial nerve not all the facial nerve only one of the terminal branch this is the marginal mandibular nerve and laser petrocell nerve laser petrocell nerve is not usually located in this space so our final answer is hypoglossal nerve it may be damaged due to submandibular gland surgery thank you all